Davis, how long did it take you to get acclimated with Oklahoma after you made the decision coming? Uh, honestly, it felt like a pretty quick process. A lot of the guys, uh, they welcome me in just like I'd been here the whole time. Um, it's been a really great experience. It honestly feels like home to me already. What, what about your process? Two new years every day, initially. What was, was that like? Uh, honestly, I didn't feel like it was a difficult decision. Uh, I came out here on my visit and I, I knew that this was the place I needed to be. Uh, it's kind of the best spot for me to grow, not only as a football player, but also as a great man. Uh, Coach Venables, obviously, being from uh, at Clemson, I'd known him uh, growing up. I played against both of his sons in high school. So it was just kind of the whole family atmosphere of it uh, kind of made the decision very easy. Uh, it was great. I mean, we spent uh, the, obviously the two nights of the official uh, together at dinner and obviously just like uh, very good like talks, uh, talking about how I just always have to be ready. And uh, he's obviously grown me a lot as a player already. Uh, learned more about defenses than I almost have the entire career before that. So uh, he's taught me a lot and I've really enjoyed uh, learning under him. How big a fit was this when you looked at the roster when you were trying to figure out where to go when you saw how young it was and the need for depth immediately? Did that kind of intrigue you a little bit more? Uh, I've always just kind of played with the mindset, like, uh, just always be ready to go. So uh, I knew if I had an opportunity to come out here and compete, which I've done, I, I feel like I'm just going to be ready to go whenever it's whenever my name show. The tempo of Coach Levy's system, was that, did that factor in as well, and see kind of how his offense runs? Yeah, it was, a lot, it was pretty similar to like what I did in high school, like kind of the up-tempo, up just kind of uh, rolling it. Taking uh, the thinking out of the game, just kind of play with your instincts. So that's been big for me. Uh, definitely enjoyed it. It's a little bit better than uh, running back and forth to the sideline like we used to. So. What's it been being a part of that quarterback room, you know, Dylan, all those guys? What's the last few weeks been like? I mean, it's been great. Like, those those guys are friends I'll have for life, no doubt. Um, uh, just kind of started in the beginning of the summer. We had the, the dime time retreat that Dylan set up. So it's been awesome. Uh, we've kind of grown as close as you could possibly be. It's like brothers already. Yeah, it's how I'd say it was huge for me and uh, kind of just the whole, the whole way I talk about it is just kind of God works in mysterious ways and uh, obviously the game didn't go how I wanted it to. It finished with the worst possible outcome. So uh, I never thought I'd end up here and uh, if, I, if the game had gone different, maybe I hadn't. So uh, I'm just blessed to be here and uh, that experience on the field was definitely uh, big too, just for being ready. What was your experience like playing the other day, getting your first chance to get on the field? It was awesome. Uh, definitely running out of that uh, tunnel the first time, clearing through that smoke, and just seeing 80, 85,000 plus was just awesome. It's nothing like I've ever experienced before. So I've had people cheering, that many people cheering against me, but definitely not for me. So you got in the game late. So what was that like for you? It was awesome. Just a uh, kind of. A uh, combination of like all the work I've put in, just getting to that point, and uh, obviously just being ready. Uh, wanted to sling it around a little bit, but got my, my nose dirty a little bit on that run, and uh, just I'm always ready to go. So, Davis, what's your goal for this year? Uh, just like I've said, kind of throughout, just be ready. Uh, when I'm uh, playing, and it's just there's no better feeling than being out there. So uh, I'm always just ready to be out there and help my team in any way I can. You were ready in the bowl game last year, I guess. In yes, sir. To Ronnie's question. Um, Third team all season, is that right? Uh, yes, sir. And then bowl game, boom, you're out there. Yes, sir. It was kind of kind of crazy how it happened. Yeah. Uh, Nick Patty's one of my best friends, and seeing him go down, it was tough. But knowing that that was my chance, that was uh, all I needed, and I was ready to go. So how do you stay ready then? Uh, I feel like it's just always about being prepared. Uh, we spend every hour of the day. I'm in grad school, so I've got uh, just online classes. So I'm up here. Damn, Almost 24-7, uh, so it's pretty incredible like how much uh, time we put in to prepare, and that's just how I feel like I'm ready. I hear that you guys had a few playmakers at Pitt last year. We had a few. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Addison was one of the best uh, football players I've been around. I wish them all the best out there with uh, Coach Riley and that USC staff. But uh, them, Jared Wayne, uh, not a Mumfield, he was there in the uh, spring with me. A bunch of great players, Jaden Bard and all those guys. Now you're with guys like Marvin Mims and Theo Weiss. Can you compare or contrast? Kind of uh, a lot of the, a lot of the similar on? styles, uh, but definitely just incredibly talented guys and people that make my job easy, uh, make me always look good. So I'll take that. Thank you guys.